Hello everyone, my name is Lee. First, I'm going to introduce myself a little bit. Currently, I'm a graduate student studying in Digital Future at OCAD University in Toronto, Canada. I have been working and learning with Touch Designer for almost two years. And I came from an art background, so I actually don't have much knowledge on coding. When I, I remember when I get touched with TD, I find it was a really interesting, handy and artist friendly tools for us who are working in the new media art industry. I'm not a pro level of the touch designer user and I'm still learning it constantly and that's a never ending process, I believe. I really appreciate that we have a uh, such great and large community in worldwide. I learn almost all the TD knowledge and techniques from it. I think right now it's a good time and chance for me to contribute and share my experience, knowledge uh, back to the community. Uh, so I hope it will be helpful for everyone. So this is my first tutorial for those who are just new to the touch designer. It's not going to share the techniques or uh, knowledge about TD. But instead, I think it would be better to recommend some tips, uh, tricks, or uh, where to find resources you should know before we start to learn it. So the first thing I'm going to introduce inside of the touch designer is operator snippers. It's really, really handy and useful. I actually don't know that for a long time until somebody tell me how to find it. And you can click uh, each of the operators and right click it on that and choose the operator snippers. It will give you sort of like a dictionary. You can check each operators and their function and their user scenario. And also it will give you a short uh, explanation and description about what, how they are doing. And importantly, it's almost cover all the operators from different family. It's a really good starting point of learning touch designer. Next thing is for each operators, uh, we will have uh, two uh, question markers there. So for the first one, if you click it, it will actually give you the link. It's actually a documentation of that operator. You can find the summary, the parameters. It will actually explain everything in detail. So for the second question markers, uh, it will give you the Python help. If you are actually, if you want to uh, working with the Python language, it will give you uh, what Python language is available for these operators. Uh, you can definitely check that out. A small tricks. For you to know is if you don't want to go that page and to find that specific uh, parameters you can hit the alt key in your keyboard and just moving your mouse on each of the parameters you can see so it actually shows you how and each parameters will uh, work okay that's really really hidden to territory there. I didn't know that before as well. So the last thing I'm going to introduce inside of the touch designer is the palette. How, so this is the uh, icon you can click it so it will open and close the palette. So palette actually uh, collect a lot of uh, pre-made tools or pre-made effects. You can actually just directly use it. Uh, how to do that? You can uh, drag and drop on to your canvas and you can dive into uh, each uh, example. You can check inside of this network, uh, trying to figure out or explore what's happening there. It's really, really useful. Uh, usually we will uh, use a lot of uh, pre-made uh, effect there. Okay, so that's pretty much all the tips from inside of the touch tender. So for the next part, I'm going to introduce and share some resources uh, online that's also really really helpful so here are all the valuable resources available online uh, personally i always go through a couple of the uh, tutorials 
from these useful links I shared. So the first one is definitely go to check their derivative.ca is the official website of the touch liner. Here has a lot of, uh, uh, for example, features, showcase, and they have a community. And also they collect a lot of tutorial, workshop, event resources there. So I definitely um, recommend you to check that out. Uh, another link I always keep an eye on that is the uh, YouTube channel of the Touch Designer. It has uh, been collected a lot of uh, workshop, artist talk, uh, it's tutorial and submit. It's really, really useful, uh, including uh, hundreds of hours of the tutorial. Mm, hope you enjoy that. Uh, another artist I recommend is uh, Billion. So he is a talented uh, Touch Designer user. So he always creates a lot of fancy and interesting uh, tutorial and teaching. And also he has a lot of uh, uh, Touch Designer beginning course. I do recommend you check that out. It's very worth to spend some time on his channel. So uh, the final uh, very useful links is uh, the ortd.org. So I really appreciate for that person who created that website. So actually it is collecting all the touch designer tutorials and you can search the keywords here to find what you want to learn. It is really, really useful for me as well. So this is my uh, uh, first tutorial I upload yesterday. Uh, thanks to the touch designer, we had uh, such a great uh, community. So here is the touch designer help group in the world wide. Uh, we had a lot of uh, folks there. They are posting their uh, project and uh, offering the technique solution. So the other link is about the two books. Uh, this is the first book uh, of the Touch Liner. It's written by English. It's the very first one. Uh, you can get this book from the Envoy link. Uh, you can go to here. So if you click that button, and it will lead to the uh, links that you can download that uh, books. And also we have a, a lot of community located in different area country. So this is where I came from. It was written in Chinese, but also it is offering very useful tutorial. And recently they, uh, the digital phone, the studio, uh, they, they wrote up books about touch designer for uh, sharing the knowledge. It's the latest uh, touch designer uh, toolbox. And if you have time and you can read Chinese, I do recommend for you to check that out. And yeah, that's pretty much all the things I want to share in this tutorial. And this is how I learned it in the past two years. That including 100 hours of tutorial, if you can uh, go through all of it, I'm not guaranteeing you can uh, go to the pro level, but at least you are uh, intermediate level of the touch liner. Uh, so happy programming everyone, uh, see you in the next one, take care.